What's going on YouTube? Bryce Bells at all, your favorite AMPIA and part 147 instructor, uh, back with another video. The hangar is closed because it is very, very, very windy today. Um, and I don't feel like getting blown around by the wind all day, but I am continuing the EDM 900 install on the Cessna 172 project, which is right here. Now, first things first, I'm gonna go ahead and start the full flow oil filter adapter kit. And while I get the oil draining, I'm gonna get inside and get the uh, panel removed so that I can start fitting the actual JPI unit itself. First things first, let's get the oil out. God, I love quick drains. All right, so you, you join me inside the aircraft for a second. So while the oil's draining, I'm gonna work on getting the JPI uh, fit. Originally, I had, had I got this flush mount uh, for it, but I don't think we're going to use the flush mount after all um, Just because it's going to be easier to remake this piece out of plastic or out of fiberglass And what I'm going to do then is I'm going to use this flush mount as a means to mark This as close as I can to where it needs to be uh, Cut and then I'll start trimming this away until I have a little bit better line and I'm obviously not gonna go nuts and cut right on as close as I can to the edge I'm gonna get close and then slowly but surely uh, work my way out and I don't have to keep this piece plastic I've got a new one um, and I, I plan on actually making a new one of these uh, with some fiberglass so what I'll do is I'll fill all these holes in nice and flush so that this is all flat up here and then I'll just end up uh, cutting away or sorry, not cutting away. I'll end up me remaking the piece and just cutting away what is necessary for the JPI. Originally, I was going to use this hole, um, but I can't mount it vertically in this hole because the radios are in the way. It's designed to mount either straight up or flat, not down. So we're going to use this hole and we're going to go flat with it this way, but this will be just fine. Um, I'm glad that I have the flush mount. It's going to make cutting all this a lot easier. So let me uh, let me get this on here and mark it, and I will start the cutting process. I might put you guys on a time lapse for those couple couple quick shots. you join me in the other hangar. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this. Like I said, I'll leave a little bit of space so I can file it out the rest of the way, but it is gonna get very loud, so I will try to turn the audio down. All right, I got this piece off. Uh, this is the little clamp for the JPI. It's actually really cool. Um, the JPI doesn't actually fit into the panel. It slides into this and then this Allen key clamps down on it and is what keeps it from moving around. So this is pretty easy. You just slide it into place and then place a couple of screws in it. Uh, let's see here, there you go. Get a couple of screws in it. If y'all didn't know, I got this uh, screw gun here. Um, I'm just using this to run things in. I'm not tightening anything down with this. And I've actually got a new set of screws that I'll use once these are all said and done with. So there's that one, last one here. There you go and then like I said this just slides in the front like so and then you can come in here with the provided Allen key Let's see if I can find the clamp back here bruh okay and the final piece Ooh, the mail. All right, so I'll pull you off here and, and show you what it looks like. Just a little bit. 
closer. Got to put my light behind the camera. I realized the light might mess some of this up. So it's actually pretty good. This piece right here needs to get trimmed down a little bit. Um, this looks like it's trimmed too far, but this top line is actually almost perfect. Uh, but this right here is a little short, so I'll mark this, and then I'll mark this corner here. This this line here needs to be a little bit uh, to the right there, and then like I said, a little bit off of there. But I am going to be making this piece new, so I don't have to have it perfect. I just have to have it uh, close. And then when I make it new, I can actually mold kind of around that and make that look a lot better and a lot more snug. So Sorry for the wind noise. It's really kicking up. But I'm going to go ahead and get this uh, spinnies oil filter adapter on. I got to get the probe out. I had placed it in there um, just as a placeholder the other day. Um, but if I just angle you up here, there we go. I put this in here the other day because I was trying to get the old gauges out, but I didn't have anything to replace them. Let me see if I can catch this, catch some of it. No matter how hard you try, there's always going to be oil inside that thing. It's really annoying, but it's just it's the way it is, I guess. All right, I don't really have a, a good angle for you, so I'm just going to do it from the other side. But this is pretty easy. You got to make sure this uh, mating surface is clean and dry. And then they wanted me to put a little bit of engine oil on these threads, so I did that. And then this just kind of threads down in here. I will say this thing is uncomfortably close to the alternator. When I say uncomfortably close, I mean like there's maybe, maybe a, a 30 seconds of an inch. Maybe. Um, it is really, really snug. Uh, the torque on this thing is also 65 foot pounds. And I don't have my torque wrench with me today. Um, I accidentally left it at the house, so I'll have to bring that out next time and torque this. But this is probably where I think I'm gonna set the filter. Let me just go like this. Bam. Okay, I'm not gonna tighten that anymore until I have a torque wrench. I'll just leave it there for now. Uh, let's see. So that'll go there. Again, I'm not installing this. I just wanna see how the probe will sit. Oh, that's perfect. That is beautiful. I'm just gonna install this in here so that it don't leak at all. There you go. All right, let me get that on camera. Oh, there you go. This is from uh, this side. Got it in there with the new style gaskets. See if I can clean that off. Um, like I said, I still need to torque that. So I'll probably come back maybe tomorrow after work. Um, I'll bring my torque wrench with me. I'll torque that real quick. I'll get the uh, gasket, or not the gasket, the uh, oil temperature probe installed and torqued. And then I'll safety wire this filter. But I don't want to safety wire the filter just yet because I don't have any oil in it. and. I also want to put a little oil on there. But anyways, at any rate, that's on. So that's going to do it all for this video. I realize I didn't get a whole lot done, but it's kind of all the time I had today. I'm going to get cleaned up real good, pick up all my tools, all that good stuff, and head to the house and get ready for work tomorrow. So I do still need to call JPI. Um, I got to get the right CHD probes. They had sent me bayonets, and I need gasket probes. So I'll call them, and I'll get those ordered on the way. Um, the next episode is going to get pretty intense, putting all the sensors and getting things wired up on this side, as well as getting the JPI wired up on this side. So there's a lot of stuff. I've been obviously the shunt. I'm also doing size fuel senders. So a lot of stuff. If you haven't watched any of the previous videos in this series, make sure you go watch those. I will make a playlist for all of this um, as I go along and do the work. But I would like to thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to leave us a like, leave us a comment, subscribe, and as always, go build something and be easy.